Sweaty tryhards, beware, because we're b -b 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 back with weapons. Five more meme strats so that you control the tryhards on Arabia. These are even more ridiculous than the five meme strats that we covered in the previous one. Actually, I guess we covered a couple more because of the bone. Whatever. Number five, 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 five. My absolute least favorite strategy, but for whatever reason, chat always wants to see this one. 15 pop men at arm Bulgarian rush. Why Bulgarians? Because Bulgarians get the men at arm upgrade for free. Go forward as fast as you possibly can. Drop a rack, maybe drop a tower in the right spot and spam men at arms from one barracks continuously. Fan freaking tastic. Sarcasm. But Poop, don't you like men at arm rushes? You have that one in the previous video about goths. Yeah, but the difference between this one and the goth one is that the goth one is actually good and gets you two barracks production instead of one. Yes, you go up three pop later, but you have to idle for 15 pop just to get up. All in all, I think this is a rinky dink excuse for a men at arm rush. If you want a men at arm rush, how about the PP rush? A Portuguese men at arm rush which takes advantage of the wood that you generate from berries allowing you to make two raxes right at that 20 pop marker thus getting significantly more men at arms out than you ever could with the 15 pop bulgarian men at arm rush with those additional men at arms you can really put pressure on their gold so that they cannot get a significant amount of archers out. And if they do get archers out, you have enough wood to drop a blacksmith and get the armor and attack upgrade for all the men at arms that you are creating. Or you could simply go for the 20 pop Dravidian all in men at arm rush. Here you receive 200 wood for clicking up to feudal, which will get you your second racks out relatively easily. In addition, barracks technologies cost 50% less. That means supplies half off as well as men at arms. Can you guys tell how much I hate 15 pop Bulgarian men at arms? I think the reason for this is because we only run legitimate strategies on this channel, such as fast feudal into opponent resign, where we try and trick our opponent in believing that we are much better than we actually are so that they just simply resign. Yes, you did hear that correctly. We are simply trying to trick our opponent with a super fast feudal time, and psychological warfare. We increase our score by means of gathering sheep and sending them to the corners of the map. In addition, we also gather just a little bit of wood when we go up to the next day so we can drop a towers forwards for some extra psychological manipulation. I remember this strategy really, really well because it was one of my most hated strategies when I first started doing YouTube. This is not really meant for rank, but just a fun way to troll your friends. So take it with a grain of memory. The exact build order for this strategy and many other strategies can be found in the book of memes. I'm just glossing over strats here, but the details are what make your memes a reality. Because remember, Doodling your memes? Yes, me dreams. I feel like this strategy teaches me not to give up in life or on my dreams too easily. Don't give up just because somebody wants you to. Believe in yourself. And know that if you don't, I believe in you. Number three. Free fallen, yeah, and I'm free, free fallen now. Man, I should have become a singer. Instead, I became a mad strategist. This is the PP rush. I, I know we said that before, but that wasn't actually the PP rush. That was a P-man rush. This is the PP rush, which is a 20 pop all in double stable scout rush with the ability to get bloodlines as Portuguese. What makes this strategy so unique is that you are collecting the wood from the mill to make your stables. 
boy oh boy are you able to get a whole bunch of scouts out real dang skippity quick. So many that your opponent may not be able to handle it with just spearmen. Regardless of the outcome, this strategy is a lot of fun. And who better to do this strategy on than on a fan. I'm happy that my opponent is a good sport about it all. He is I. It is I, Leclerc. Free everything drush for you here today. The five militia rush. And this one is a lot of fun to do. So let's hop right into it. Thank you, Book of Memes, Poop Lord. I'll take it from here. Number Dose. Who needs constant villager production when you can make five militia with Lithuanians right from the start. Just make sure that you're getting tons and tons of value out of these militia. Otherwise, you're going to have yourself a bad time. If you are one of those people who just makes five militia and runs them into the opponent's TC, this strategy is not for D. The goal here is simple. Keep your opponent off of every single resource that they possess so that eventually you can build up an economic advantage. This will take some time however, so I recommend sending a villager forward to help with the laming process using palisade walls to deny key resources. I don't know if you saw that previously, but I actually shot a rhino with the villager and then murdered it with the militia. That was mmm. So satisfying. How you follow this one up is completely up to you. You can boom at home and try and close it out with fast castle knights. But personally, I like following this one up with a TC drop. I know I'm biased. I'm old school. However, now with Lithuanians, you'll actually get 100 food for TC dropping them as well. Turning a chaotic game into an absolute poop lord show however you decide to do the pre everything drush it's a lot of fun enjoy 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 i can't say it enough and if you enjoy this content please consider subscribing to the channel it pushes me to make more of these highly edited videos for you guys we have a subscriber goal of 4,000 by the end of this year and i know with your help we can reach that enough dilly dallying let's end this Let's do what I do best. We'll fight until nothing is left standing. One more TC for good measure and that is about all she wrote. Just have to catch these last couple of straggler villagers and we are Gucci. A similar version to this is the Persian Drush TC drop in which you harass your opponents with free militia, pushing them off of their resources and then following it up with a TC drop to deny the rest of their resources. Very similar to the pre-everything Drush. This one's a little bit safer and if you lose your militia, at least you have your TC drop to fall back on. I would like to show you the rest of this game, but we want to keep this nice and concise. So we're going to hop right into the next strategy, which is a honorable mention. It feels almost wrong not to talk about this strategy since we've been talking about drushes so much. Of course, I'm talking about the Huang Rush, which is a free militia drush into full walling your base, fast castling, getting siege, monks, and knights out without any eco behind, and somehow, some way, making it all work at the highest of ELOs. I don't know how Huang does this, but he cheeses the absolute best of the best with this strategy on a consistent basis. Please, somebody teach me a build order for this. Teach me how to Huang. Teach, teach me how to Huang. Teach me how to Huang. Te te teach me how to Huang. All right, we're going to have a little uh, TC fake out action. So we're going to pretend to be TC dropping, but actually not be TC dropping. Actually going fast castle all in knights. 
That's right, in number uno, we have the TC fake out. At this point, you probably already noticed that I am biased towards TC drops, but this is actually not a TC drop. It's pretending that you're going to be doing a TC drop by changing your name to you got mm, backwards and then picking Persians to create the mind game that you're going to be TC dropping. Around the 20 pop mark is actually when we're going to send villagers forward not to TC drop, but but to lame the opponent. In reality, what we're doing is fast castling into a, well, Huang rush. That's why I honorably mentioned Huang, but four. I love how this brings back all of the other strategies mentioned in this video, psychological warfare, as well as rush lame goth king. You get the basic idea. You know that you've got your opponent when they're sprinkling in palisades to try and stop the TC drop, but the TC drop is never going to be coming because you're going to be going up to Castle Age. So they're dumb, dumb, dumbing right now. Where's that TC? Where's that TC? Did I stop it? That's, what, what, what? All the idle time, all the confusion, all the illusion, misconstruction. Brilliant. I don't know how you can't love this strategy. It just, mmm. I'm not often at a loss of words, but it's just so funny. It's uh, how to even describe. Oh, just enjoy. Just enjoy. I'll make sure to include the full versions in the description. And if any one of them is missing, please let me know. I hope you liked the follow up to the five meme strats on Arabia Vilio. Vilio. Vilio! At this point, we've turned it in a full on Huang rush. And we're going to be adding Siege, Monks, and all of that good stuff. I hope that you enjoyed this video, as I mentioned before. <laughs> and make sure to keep on walking. Poop Lord, out. Did we really just mess up the outro? There's still more to the video? Well, I guess we'll just have to give you some bonus salt. B -b bonus salt. Did you think it was a TC drop? Yeah, your name. Haha. -ha. No, you just a lame-a-boy.